Welcome back, everybody, to the deep dive. Ready to dive into some pretty mind-bending stuff today. Always up for a challenge. Okay, good. Because today we're going to tackle this research paper about using AI, you know, that artificial intelligence thing everyone's talking about, to predict the stock market. Sounds ambitious. It is. Specifically, they're using these things called large language models, or LLMs, to try and forecast option returns. Ah, options. So we're talking about predicting the direction of stock prices. Exactly. Exactly. And not just direction, but like how much they might go up or down. So we're not just saying, hey, will this stock go up? But hey, by how much will this stock go up? Yeah. And we're going to look at whether news articles can actually give us clues about these option returns. Interesting. So we're using news sentiment to predict price movement. You got it. And then the really wild part is, can AI analyze this news better than humans can? Like, can it spot those signals we might miss? Yeah, there's so much data out there, even for experienced traders. Right. Thank you for tuning in to Quantopian's Quant Radio, your AI-driven podcast exploring everything related to quantitative finance. If you enjoy this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future releases. For more quant-focused content, join us at community.quantopian.com. There you can explore a wealth of resources, connect with fellow quants, engage in insightful discussions, and enhance your skills through our extensive range of online courses. Quant Radio is intended to help people develop their knowledge and skills in quant finance. This podcast is not intended to provide investment advice. And now, back to the episode. So this research used an open AI model, which is pretty cool because it's the same company behind ChatGPT. I was going to say, that's the same company. Right. So we're talking seriously powerful AI here. But they also use some other techniques like BERT, word to vec and TF-IDF. You kind of break down these different approaches for us and like why LLMs might be the best tool for the job here. Sure. So think of it like this. Imagine you're trying to understand a news article. TFIDF is like that friend who just counts how many times each word appears, right? Doesn't really get the meaning, just the frequency. Okay, so kind of a basic word counter. Exactly. Then you've got word to vec which is a little more sophisticated and looks at relationships between words like synonyms or words that frequently appear together. So it starts to understand connections between words. Yeah, but even word to vec can't quite grasp the full context of a sentence, let alone a whole article. That's where LLMs come in. BERT is an LLM, but this open AI model seems to be a step ahead. It can really understand context and pick up on subtle cues that might hint at how a company is going to perform. So it's not just about keywords, but understanding the nuance and the implications of the news. Absolutely. That's where LLMs shine. They analyze sentiment. They pick out those key events. They even try to figure out how those events might affect the company's stock price. Wow. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now let's talk about the results. This open AI model achieved a sharp ratio of 3.15 for put options. For those of us who didn't major in finance, what does that number even mean and why should we care? Okay, so the sharp ratio basically tells you how much profit you get for the risk you take. A sharp ratio of one is considered okay, two is pretty good, and anything above three. That's exceptional, especially when it comes to options trading, which is notoriously unpredictable. Okay, so this 3.15 is yeah. like... It's saying that the model was picking profitable trades with a really high level of consistency. That's impressive. And it gets even more interesting. They found that this predictability was even stronger for companies with high R&D spending or, you know, those companies with really volatile stock prices. Yeah. What's the connection there? Why are those companies more predictable based on news? Well, think about it. For companies that are constantly innovating or whose stock prices swing wildly, traditional financial data might not tell the whole story. Because there's so much uncertainty about their future. Exactly. But news, news can give you a peek into what's coming down the pipeline. You know, new products, potential risks, major breakthroughs, all those things can seriously impact a company's performance. So news becomes a crucial piece of the puzzle. So for those companies that are harder to predict, news analysis becomes even more valuable. And it sounds like these LLMs are really good at picking out those valuable nuggets of information. Now, they did this word cloud analysis to see what kind of news the model was picking up on. And some of the big words that popped up were like drug, vaccine, earnings. It seems like the AI was really focused on company-specific news and maybe keeping a close eye on pharmaceutical developments. How did they actually confirm that? 
They used a statistical method called LDA, or latent dirichlet allocation, to really nail down the main topics in the news articles. And it confirmed that, yeah, the model was definitely zeroing in on firm-specific news, and especially news about pharmaceuticals. Fascinating. But here's something I found really surprising. These strong returns weren't just a pandemic thing. The model was doing well even before COVID-19, which makes you think, right? Because you'd assume all the vaccine news would have skewed the results. Right. But the fact that it performed well even before the pandemic suggests that maybe, just maybe, these LLMs are tapping into a deeper connection between news and option markets, something that goes beyond specific events. That's wild. Yeah. So it seems like these LLMs could be a game changer for investors, finding signals in the news that we humans might miss. But could the average person actually use this kind of approach? That's a great question. While this research is incredibly promising, it's important to remember that this is just one study. We need more research to see if these results hold up over time and across different market conditions. So we shouldn't expect to see AI stock picking apps popping up overnight? Probably not. There's still a lot we need to understand about the limitations of this approach and the scenarios where it might not work as well. The stock market is incredibly complex and there are always risks involved. Right, it's not a magic bullet. But even with those caveats, this research opens up some really exciting possibilities. If LLMs can unlock this kind of predictive power from news, what other hidden patterns might they be able to uncover? Exactly. This could be just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine LLMs analyzing scientific articles to predict breakthroughs in medicine, or sifting through social media trends to anticipate changes in consumer behavior. The possibilities seem endless. But for now, let's bring it back to finance and what we've learned about LLMs and option returns. Absolutely. We've seen that LLMs, especially this open AI model, are remarkably good at extracting predictive signals from news data, even better than more traditional methods. And these signals can translate into potentially impressive profits in the options market, even after factoring in trading costs. And we've also learned that this predictability is particularly strong for companies with high R&D spending or volatile stock prices, those companies where news can provide a crucial glimpse into their future. Right. And importantly, this isn't just a COVID era phenomenon. The model's strong performance even before the pandemic suggests that LLMs are picking up on a fundamental connection between news and option performance that holds true across different market conditions. This all sounds incredibly promising, but what are some things we still don't know? What are the big questions that this research leaves unanswered? Well, for one, we need to understand how these results hold up in different market environments. Would they work as well during a recession when volatility is high, or are they more effective in calmer markets? That's a great point. The market is constantly changing, so we need to know if these LLM-based strategies can adapt. What else? Another critical question is whether these models can consistently outperform human traders in the long run. Professional traders have years of experience, intuition, and access to a wealth of information beyond just news articles. So it's a battle of the brains, AI versus human expertise. We need to see if LLMs can maintain a sustainable advantage in this complex game. Exactly. And we should also explore how these models could be combined with other types of financial data. Could we integrate insights from news analysis with traditional financial metrics to create even more powerful prediction models? Now that's an intriguing possibility. Finding those hidden connections and relationships between different types of data could unlock even more insights. It's kind of wild to think about, right? Like all these connections and relationships hidden in the data, just waiting for the right tool to unlock them. It really is. And it makes you wonder what else we might be able to uncover with these LLMs, like beyond finance. Exactly. If they can do this with financial news, what about, I don't know, medical research? Could they analyze scientific papers to predict the next big breakthrough? Potentially. Or what about using them to understand climate patterns better or social trends or, you know, anything really? Okay, now my brain is going a million miles an hour. Mm. But I think it's important to, you know, stay grounded too. It's not all sunshine and roses with AI, right? Right. There are definitely ethical considerations, potential biases to watch out for, and, you know, the whole question of what happens if we hand over too much control to algorithms. Yeah, that's a whole other deep dive right there. But for today, I think we've covered a lot of ground. This has been a truly fascinating deep dive. I think our listeners will walk away with a much deeper understanding of how LLMs are changing the game, and not just in the world of finance.
I hope so. It's a rapidly evolving field, and it's crucial for everyone to stay informed. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're really just at the beginning of exploring what LLMs can do, and I think it's going to be a wild ride. Yeah, I've just said it better myself. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive. Till next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep asking those big questions. 